start off with some breathing first. So we did this breath work once before, uh, so you might be familiar with it, but it's basically called hand breathing. So all you need to do is bring your hand out in front of you. I want you to spread your fingers nice and wide and then get your finger from your other hand, bring it to the base of your thumb. And now when we inhale, our finger is going to go up and then as we exhale, we're going to come back down. So you're gonna take those long breaths. So in yoga, breathing is very important. If we take these nice deep breaths, it actually helps to calm us down. So let's try this together. So bring your finger to your thumb. We're gonna inhale up and then exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, Exhale down, almost there. Nice inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good job. You can lower your hand. And I want you to get both hands, bring them together. And then we're going to rub our hands. Make those hands nice and warm. And then I want you to bring both of your palms over your closed eyes. Relax your hands on your head. Sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Again, nice deep inhale. One more time, deep inhale. Release the hands. Let's Rub them together again. Make your hands nice and warm. And then I want you to bring both hands over your heart. You could close your eyes. And then we're gonna take three deep breaths here. Last one. Good job. So now we're gonna move into our practice. So again, if you'd like to turn on those cameras, feel free to do so. Um, today we're going to do alphabet animal yoga. So we're gonna go through the whole alphabet and for each letter, we're gonna have a pose that goes with it. So you can head over to your mat and then we'll get started. So, the first letter of the alphabet is, of course, letter A. So for A, the yoga posture that we're going to do is called alligator pose. So an alligator, of course, they're nice and long and they're low to the ground. So for alligator pose, we go into our plank. So I want both of your feet at the back. Your feet are about hip distance apart. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. Take a nice deep inhale, deep exhale. Good job. Lower those knees. Take a nice deep breath, little break. That one could be a little bit hard sometimes. And then we're gonna go to B. So B is for butterfly. So we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together. And then I want you to interlock those hands, bring your hands around your toes. And then we're just gonna flap our wings. So bounce those knees up and down, sit up nice and tall. And then we're gonna take three deep breaths here. So remember, deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Two more. Good job. Now we're going to move into C. So C, we have two postures for this one, cat, cow. So we're going to come into our tabletop position. So remember, we want our knees to be hip distance apart. So my hips are here. My knees are going to be right below. And then our hands are underneath our shoulders. I want you to spread your fingers nice and wide. Now we're going to inhale. 
You're going to reach your tailbone up and then look in front of you. And then round your spine. Bring your chin towards your chest. Press away that back. Look at your belly button. So this is our cat cow. Again, inhale, we come up, look in front of you, and then exhale, round that spine, bring your chin to your chest. Let's try two more. Inhale, up, exhale, chin to chest, round that spine. Last one, inhale, up. And then exhale, chin to chest. Good job. Come back to your tabletop. Now we're going to go into D. So I'm sure you guys know this one, downward dog. So that upside down V. So first, bring your hands to your mat. Spread those fingers out nice and wide. I want you to tuck your toes under and then press those hips up. Come into your downward dog. So I want you to press those toes into the mat and then press away your mat with your hands. Let's take a breath here. So again, downward dog. Good job, let's lower those knees. Now we're on to E. So E is for eagle pose. So for this one, we're gonna stand up. This one's gonna be a little bit more tricky. So, I want you to bring both arms out to your sides like a letter T. Now, we're going to bring our right arm over our left arm. Lock those elbows in together. So these are our eagle arms, okay? Now, we're gonna get our left leg. Bring it over our right leg. So it's just like you're crossing your legs if you're seated. And then we can keep our toe on our mat today. So this is our eagle pose. So let's stay here. Just take a breath. Good job. Let's release. Shake it out. And then we're just going to even that out. So we're going to do the other side. Bring your arms out to a T. And then that right arm is going to come over the left. We're going to lock those elbows in together. Spread those fingers. This time, right leg over left. And then if you keep those toes on the mat, and we'll just hold here. Good job. Slowly release. You can shake out your body. Now we're gonna move into our frog pose. So I want you to come to your knees, and then you're gonna bring your knees a little bit wider. Your hands are just going to come to the ground out in front of you. And then I want you to turn so your toes are pointing away from your body. So see my toes, they're pointing away from me. My hands are underneath me. So this is our frog pose. So just think about a frog. They're low to the ground. They're always ready to jump. So that's why this posture is named after them. Let's take a nice deep breath. One more. Good job. Slowly turn those knees in. And then we're going to move on to G. So G is for gorilla. So for this one, we're going to be standing. So our feet are hip distance apart. But we're folding forward. And then you're going to get your hands. Your knees can be bent as much as you need. And bring them underneath your feet. So this is our gorilla pose. So just think of a gorilla. They're low to the ground. They're running around, playing. So this is gorilla. We'll slowly come back up. You can give your legs a nice little shake. And then the next one is going to be happy baby pose. So we're going to come on to our backs. I want your legs up in the air and then you're going to bring your hands to the inside of your shin, so to the inside of your lower leg. And we just stay here for a little bit. If you'd like, you can rock back and forth. 
So just like a baby, they always have their arms or legs up in the air, just rocking around from side to side. And then let's slowly bring the knees together and then we'll come back up moving in to I. So this one's similar to our alligator. We're going to be in our plank, but on our forearms. So come to your forearms and then you could step your feet back, come into your plank. If you need to, you can lower your knees, take a little break. Otherwise, keep those knees lifted in our iguana. So it's like a big lizard. We'll lower the knees down. Now, I want you to come into a tabletop position. So remember, knees hip distance apart, your hands are under those shoulders. And then we're just going to step our right foot forward. So our next letter is J, and J is for Jaguar. So this is like a low lunge position. So think of a jaguar, they're always running, trying to go get their prey, or just playing around, low to the ground, and ready to run. So that's our stance right now. We're ready to take off. Take one more breath. Good job. Let's slowly bring that right leg back, and then we'll even out both sides. So bring that left foot forward. Our hands are on either side of the foot. Just take a breath here. Good job, so we bring that left foot back. Now we're moving on to K. So K is for kangaroo. Okay, let's continue on. So, Okay, so we're on K. So K is for kangaroo. So for kangaroo, we're going to be in a chair pose. So we want to bring our feet together. And then we're just going to bend into our knees. So we're in a kangaroo. So you can keep your hands on your thighs. So just think, and a kangaroo is going around, they're going around, bouncing around. Sometimes they'll have their baby in their little pouch there. So this is our chair pose. So we'll take a breath here. Good job, everyone. Next is going to be a breathing. So it's going to be our lion's breath. So I want you to come down to your shins and knees. I want you to get both hands. Bring them in front of you so your fingers are pointing towards your body. Now we're going to take a deep inhale through our nose. On your exhale, I want you to stick out your tongues, make an ah sound. So like a lion, nice and loud, okay? Let's take a deep inhale. Again, deep inhale through your nose. Two more times. Inhale through the nose. Last one. Good job. Now just bring your hands to your knees. We'll just take two normal breaths here. Good job. Next is going to be M. So M is going to be mouse, which we also know as child's pose. So. We're going to bring our knees and our feet together, and then our head's going to come down to the mat. Your arms could be by your sides, or you could bring both arms out in front of you. So whatever feels best here. And I want you to close your eyes, and then just take a couple breaths. So just think of mouse, it's so small and on the ground, so we're making ourselves nice and small. Let's take two more breaths. Good job. Now we're moving on to N. So N is for narwhal. So I don't know if you guys know what a narwhal is, but it's similar to a whale. 
but it has a big horn on its head. So a lot of people call it the unicorn of the ocean. So for this one, we're gonna come on to our bellies. And then I want you to bring both arms out in front of you. So our arms are acting like the horn. And then we're gonna lift our feet and then lift those arms up. And then lower down, take a breath. Let's try again. Lift those feet up, lift the arms up. And then lower back down. We're gonna try two more, so take a breath. We'll inhale up. Exhale, lower, deep breath. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, lower. Good job, everyone. Hands to the mat. Let's press ourselves up. And then we're going to come into a seated position. So nice, comfortable seated position. Our next letter is O. So O is for owl. So for this one, we're going to sit up nice and tall. So think of an owl. It's perched up on a tree. And one thing that's very different about owls is they move their heads around. So that's what we're going to do. Sit up nice and tall. Look over to the right side. Bring that gaze back to center. Look over to the left. Back to center. We'll look over to the right. Back to center, look over to the left. Let's do one more time, each side. Come back to center, look to the right. Back to center, look to the left. Good job, let's come back and then we'll move on. So now we're on to P. So P is gonna be pigeon pose. So for this one, I want you to start in your downward dog. So we're in that upside down V, okay? Now we're gonna inhale our right leg up into the air, reach it up to the sky, and then step your right foot forward. So step that foot in between both hands. Lower your back knee, untuck your toes. And then you can just slowly walk that right foot over to the left side. Lower your shin and then maybe come down to your forearms. And then we'll just take a couple breaths here. So again, we're on P for pigeon. So we're just being a little bird. Sometimes they might be sitting, they'll have one leg up and one leg on the tree. Let's take one more breath. Good job, let's come up to our hands. Now I want you to tuck your back toe, lift your knee, and then step that right foot back, come into your downward dog. We'll take a nice deep inhale, deep exhale. Let's try the other side, inhale that left leg up, and then exhale, step that left foot forward. Lower your back knee, untuck the toes, and then just walk that left foot over to the right side. Lower your shin, and then you could come down to your forearms. Just take a couple breaths here. You could bring your head to two stacked fists. Whatever feels most comfortable. Let's slowly come up, one hand at a time. Tuck those back toes. Lift the knees, step your left foot back, downward dog, good job. Look between your hands, we're gonna step or walk to the top of the mat, and then inhale up. So next we have Q, which is quail. So quail is a type of bird. So this one we're gonna be flying a little bit. So. Let's bring our feet hip distance apart. Remember, here are my hips. So my feet are gonna be right below. Now I want you to lift your right foot off the mat. We're gonna slowly hinge forward. That leg's gonna be up in the air. And then reach those arms out to the side like you're flying. C 
See if you can balance for a little bit longer. And then let's step that right foot back to the mat. Shake out those legs. Good job. Let's try the other side. So ground that right foot into the mat. Lift the left foot back. Extend it out. And then the arms come out to the side. Try to hold for one more breath. Good job, then lower back down. Let's give our whole body a nice little shake. And then we're gonna go to R, which is a rabbit pose. So for this one, we're gonna come on to our shins. And then we're gonna get the top of our head, bring it to our mat. And then our arms are back behind us, holding on to our heels. So this is our rabbit pose. Take two more breaths. Good job. Slowly start to come up. And then we're going to move into snake pose. So let's think. A snake, they're low to the ground. We're going to come onto our bellies. Bring your arms to your sides. Palms are facing down. And then we're just going to move our feet a little bit from side to side. So we're a snake slithering on the ground. Good job, everyone. Now let's lower those feet back down. Hands come beside us. We're going to press up. Come into our tabletop. So next, we have... T for tiger, so tiger pose. So for this one, I want you to lift your right knee up and then you're gonna extend your right leg back. Your foot is gonna be flexed. So you're pointing your toes towards the top of the mat. Now lift that left arm out, reach it out in front of you. And then on your exhale, you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow. And then inhale, come straight out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, out. Last one, exhale, knee to elbow. And then inhale, out. Lower it down to the mat. Let's take a breath, take a little break. <sighs> Lift that left leg up, extend the left leg back. Reach that right arm out in front of you. And then again, we're going to bring knee to elbow. And then extend out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, out. Last one, exhale, knee to elbow. And then inhale, out. Lower back down, take a breath. Good job. Now, I want you to come down onto your belly. Your hands are on either side of your chest. So now we're in our upward dog. And then we're just gonna press our chest up off the mat. So think of a dog when you see it, it has two different stretches, downward dog and upward dog. So it reaches the chest up. And then exhale, lower the chest back down. One more time, inhale up. And then exhale, lower. Good job. Let's press up off the mat. Now we are going to go into V. So V is going to be for vulture. So a vulture is a type of big bird. So for this one, we're going to come on to our backs. Your feet are on the mat. Arms are by your sides. And then I want you to lift your hips up off the mat. So the reason that they call this one vulture is as a vulture, they're flying around so they can see all around. So as we're down here on the ground looking up, we can see everything above us, right? So just holding here. It's also known as bridge pose. Good job. Let's lower those hips back down and then we'll slowly come back up. 
Next we have W. So W is going to be whale pose. So for this one, we're going to come on to our belly again. Our arms are going to be by our sides. And then we're going to inhale, bring our arms and feet up off the mat. So we're making like a whale shape. And then exhale, lower. Take a breath. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Let's try one more. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Good job. Hands to the chest. We press up. And then this time we're going to come to our backs. So next we have X. So X is going to be for x-ray fish. So an x-ray fish, it's literally a fish, but you can actually see inside of it. So for this one, we're gonna stretch both legs out in front of us. Come down to our mats. And then I just want you to look up. I want you to look behind you. So just gently tilt that chin up, point that chin up towards the ceiling. This is our fish pose. One more breath. Slowly sit back up. And then we're going to move into Y. So we're almost there. So Y is for yak. So for this one, we're just going to come into a tabletop position. So a yak, kind of like a buffalo or a cow. They're big. And they have their four, their two arms, two legs. They're standing on all fours, nice and strong. So we want to stand nice and strong here. Really press away the mat. Keep our head lifted nice and tall. And then last is going to be Z. So Z is for zebra. So for this one, we're going to get our right leg and step it forward. And then I want you to start to straighten out that leg. Bring your nose towards your knee. And then slowly bring that right leg back. Let's try the other side to stretch that left leg out in front of you. Nose comes towards your knee. And then we'll slowly bring that left leg back. Amazing. So we've gone through the whole alphabet. So with every letter of the alphabet, there is an animal posture that matches with it. So now we have a little bit more time left. So I'm going to take you through a little flow. So we're going to be using a lot of the postures that we just did. So now you're familiar with them. You understand.